uh, another sketch by Wilbur G. Kurtz of the Collier Mill. And anybody recognize who this fella is? He was a president. How about that for a clue? He later was the United States president. He was Benjamin Harrison from Indiana. And his 70th Indiana, along with his brigade, are deploying here at the Collier Mill. Uh, this is the, the uh, deployment of Hardee's Corps, of roughly 18,000 to 20,000 men uh, were deployed uh, and ready to go and make the, launch the attack. General Hood wanted to make an attack against the federal forces when they had one foot over the creek and one foot on the other side of the creek and they had not had time to entrench. And he was trying to time when that would be. He had originally thought about making the attack on the 19th. But on the 19th, the Yankees hadn't crossed yet, except at, during right, right at the end of the day. And so the time to have made the attack had to be postponed. Hood planned it for 1 o'clock. But instead of 1 o'clock, it wound up going off after the morning after 4, about 4 o'clock. And the reason for it was the Confederates that were deployed were further to the west, and they had to slide east about a mile and a half before they could make their attack. And it took them about three hours to get into position. Uh, Bates' division, over to the far right, literally got lost in the Sherwood Forest. Bates' guys get lost, and they basically play out of the battle. They only have 21 casualties out of over 3,000 men in their, in their division, and uh, only 21 guys are, are uh, casualties that day due to some, to some, uh, some skirmishing and, and uh, a little bit of long-range artillery fire. They're down here in this, in this cane thicket, and they can't see the Yankees, but the Yankees see them, and so they're taking a few pot shots down at them, shooting, uh, firing a few uh, artillery. John Newton knew that it was important to get and hold the high ground. So by 4 o'clock, he had deployed his men down here on what's called Cardiac Hill today, or where we know the Seafront Hospital. 